Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Dear brothers and sisters, Assalamu alaikum. My name is Shweb Khan and welcome to MaxAfter.com. But today's tutorial is not about graphics, it's about rendering, in fact safe rendering. And it's also about how to save yourself from the nightmares of rendering, you know, when something goes wrong, especially when the client is waiting and you have a full HD project, you want to render it and when you're about to finish rendering, something goes wrong and then you end up in total chaos. So to avoid that situation, we will use an option here in the render setting called skip existing files. So in today's tutorial we'll explore this option here. So let's start the tutorial. So it's a very simple scene with camera going through the letters as you can see. So this is just an example. We're assuming that it's a full HD project you know and you have applied loads of effects to it and uh, of course when you're working with HD it becomes very very difficult to render sometimes especially when you have applied a lot of blurs and other effects you know let's say you need to show a preview to your client or you know you want to render the full render high settings you know so what you do is of course you don't uh, render straight to WMV if it's a preview or you know AVI or QuickTime so what you do is you render in JPEGs or Targas you know single frames or TIFFs if you want high quality and we do that because let's say if you render straight to WMV you know if it's a preview and you render the whole scene and something goes wrong here at the end while it's rendering it has already taken like three or four hours to get to this point of rendering and suddenly something goes wrong and you just need to re-render again the whole thing or let's say the rendering goes successfully nothing goes wrong but after the rendering you realize that oops there's a mistake you know spelling mistake or a graphics is missing so what you need to do is, of course, you will correct it and re-render the whole thing. So to avoid that situation, you know, of re-rendering the whole thing again, like let's say if the time limit is also like uh, six minutes or five minutes or three minutes, you know, it will take forever to render. So to avoid that situation, what we will do is we will render in JPEGs, whether it's a preview or full render. Okay, let's assume that you have rend rendered successfully, but after the rendering you spot a, a mistake um, of spelling mistake or a graphic in this case when you have rendered JPEGs what we do is you go to the to the area where the changes are let's say here is a change you know um, where you want to change this part to some other text so you come here and you put the markers from where the change took place and let's say this text um, let's say here it ends. So this is the area only that needs to be re-rendered again. So of course you have rendered in JPEG. So what you do is you go and locate those, you know, uh, those frames with, well, with the current time indicator. You know, you'll see. Okay, this is 5:50. You write it down, and you come here. This is the end uh, of the change, and it's 7:46. So you go to the location and you just locate these JPEGs and go and delete it. And then once they are deleted, then you add to render queue. Turn on the option of skip existing frame. When you turn that option on and put it to render again, After Effects will only render those deleted frames. So it will not render the whole thing again. This is how the skip existing frame works. Uh, you understand it better once I show you how it works. Let's go to the render panel, composition, and add to render queue. So we have our render settings here. We go to render settings. Best full, let's assume that it is a full HD with full effects. And we go, we say OK. And we go to lossless. And from here, we go to video for Windows. And we go to JPEG sequence. You can also have TIFF or Targas if you want very high quality. I think JPEG is quite reasonable. So after that we go to format and make sure it's full quality and we click OK. And then we come here, we'll give the location save. Now when we go back to best settings and we uncheck use storage overflow and this option will be highlighted for us and we click it. So basically this is the option I was talking about earlier. This will help us to also render in different machines you know, if, you, if there is any machine available. So we press OK. So now this is the render setting. So make sure that before you press the render you need to save this setting. So you go to file and save because 
if you don't save it and then you open another computer this option will not be there but if you save it and then you render it and after the rendering starts in this machine you go and open After Effects in another machine and you locate your file and you open the file and you come to render queue in the other machine when you come to render queue you don't go to composition and add to render queue you go to windows and highlight render queue like this so it, this will exactly this how it will be on the other machine so you don't have to do anything you just press render in the other machine so it will start rendering other frames you know and then you go to the third machine, fourth machine, fifth machine you know and in the same way you will render this composition so let's start rendering now let's say we have rendered the JPEG successfully and now after the render let's close this one after the render we realize that oops there is a mistake here you know that you need to change this 3ds max written here change it to after effects now you don't need to render the whole scene again what we will do is just we'll replace this section only where we made the changes so this change starts from from here after effects starts to appear we come here and we bring the work area start here and here it disappears the after effects so we come here so this is the area which we made the changes so all we need to do is we just come to the beginning we note the frames here which is 550 and we go to the end and then we note the frames here which is 755 now all we need to do is we need to go to the rendering here are the frames that we rendered and now what we do is we we delete the frames and we come here and we locate the frame number 550 which is here up to frame 755 we press shift and click this one so these are the frames selected so this is the area we where we made the changes so what we do is we just delete this press delete and the files are deleted we go back to After Effects and we go to Composition Add to Render Queue and we delete the second one and we just click this one and Control D and we get a new Render Queue we have duplicated this one so we don't need to do anything in here because it will be the same just make sure that Skip Existing Files is turned on by turning it on this will only render the deleted you know frames so we go to final and we know the location where we deleted frames number if you see you will notice that from frame 50 to 755 are not there so what we do is we just go here and then we press render so when you press render you will see that um, the rendering bar will shoot up and uh, when it reaches five frame 550 it start rendering the changes that we made up to 755 so did you see that how fast it went here so it stopped here because now it's rendering that part only so it's basically with the skip existing file option it only renders that that area where we made the changes so if it's in the if if the changes are in different areas so the same method will be applied you know so now let's go and import the rendered file that we just rendered so here our file is we go to file and we click here JPEG sequence and we open and we drag and make a new comp and you see that the change has been made here so basically this is what this tutorial was about so whenever you're rendering working full HD and it's a huge file so of course you just go and render JPEGs instead of uh, straight uh, to WMV or AVI or QuickTime with the option of skip existing files this option when turned on of course it allows you to render in, in different machines and also when you turn it on and then there's a mistake and then you want to make a change then you can of course delete those frames, locate the frames and delete it and turn this option on and then put it to render
you know how it works and then you put it to render simple so i hope you enjoyed this tutorial also check out the newly launched products and thank you very much for your support and once again my name is shwaib khan from maxafter.com assalamu alaikum